What's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, honestly, I'm thankful for those who still watch this channel. It's been a while. We when we started this channel, it's been it's been lots of years ago. Um, but then when I started posting more consistently, I felt like we we're doing and building a really good community. But as as I was getting busier and I was getting busier, it was harder for me to start uploading and and, you know, record my journey, um, which which, you know, there's some videos that I still want to post of my journey. You know, uh, the last couple of years, I've been able to work with huge global brands, which I never thought I would. I never thought I was going to be able to change from being a videographer who couldn't sit at the table with influencers, who was avoided invitations to go to places because I was just a videographer, to actually being taken serious by the, by these brands, by these these movies. And, and honestly, guys, you guys know that I've been putting a lot of work towards my brand until this day. I still edit everything I do. I still edit everything that I shoot. And I'm thankful for those that still watch this channel. If it's 15 people, 60, 100, or five, one person is watching, you know, any video that I post, I'm still blessed and I feel blessed to have you here. Um, lately, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Um, I have vlogs that I still need to edit for, uh, so I can show you part of that journey. And I just want to say I'm thankful. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful. Um, and uh, I want to touch some base on this channel. I want to reconnect with you guys, build a, a stronger relationship with you guys. And I feel like we're able to do that if I'm consistent. And don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that I'm a top creator. I'm famous or whatever. No, no, no. I actually I'm actually humbled when some of you guys, you know, recognize me on the streets some of you guys recognize me at the stores and and ask me for a photo that means the world to me because um it, obviously it's not about the photo it's not about getting a tag it's not about getting that exposure it's about people still having some sort of feeling for what i've done some sort of um appreciation for the work and the amount of work that i've been putting throughout the years it's crazy how from being a videographer uh who couldn't see sit at the table with influencers and those words, it didn't hurt me because I knew I wasn't an influencer. I knew that I was just seen as a videographer, the cameraman. But then when I started working with these brands and I started working with these amazing people that actually gave me recognition, made me feel that I, got was, that I was worth a lot more, that I was worth more than just holding a camera, that I actually had a credit on my name, that I actually had a, a background on my name, a track record. Uh, and people just start recognizing me for the work that I've done and the person that I am. I've had people following me ever since I started, you know, uh, six, uh, six years ago with video. And then when I started with photos 12 years ago, I still get calls from clients that I uh, hired me back then. Crazy to think that I don't know where we let's go back a little bit. Grew up in a really destroyed household where there was, you know, drugs. A domestic violence I was taking uh, as a joke from many friends in school because all the struggles that my family went through and they were so public about it because every time that my parents would have like an argument they will literally get all the attention from my neighborhood um, I, I lived a, a child childhood that wasn't probably the best came to this country without knowing the language whatsoever um just a few words you know uh and as, as a matter of fact last year i was able uh to accomplish one of my dreams becoming a, a united states citizen which i feel blessed to have accomplished because um from coming to this country with no documentation and now been able to call myself a united states citizen it's a blessing um and that's one of my my biggest goals that I my biggest goals that I did last year, um, along with you know still working with Marvel, uh, attending to red carpets. And you you may think that probably attending to red carpets mean nothing, but to me mean the world because out of so many fans around the world, millions of fans, they still ma manage and they still 
think about me to go it just means the world to me from being behind the camera and ask for an opportunity to attend to these events not just behind the camera but in front of the camera and enjoy with my friends and take some friends with me it just means the world because uh i'm not just taken as an a creator i'm also taken as a as a fan as an influencer as one of those guys that have been busting their ass and they deserve an opportunity to be there i honestly i'm thankful to with disney i know uh, so many people talk about disney this disney that but honestly disney has been one of my biggest blessings in my life and biggest blessings in my career and i want to thank the vice president of social media i want to thank everybody that believes in me some of you guys may know me as the content creator that was doing sessions in exchange for toys back in 2016 i had my nikon camera in my hand on my canon camera it was a nikon no, it was a nikon d3200 yes um and i looked at the camera and and i was like god i just want to make a difference i just want to be able to help others with what i do i don't have the money but i sure have some tools i know how to speak in crowds i know how to talk about god i know how to talk about uh you know salvation but i want you to use my hands and um if it's not money just you know help me help me help others and that's where i created my foundation called sonríe y crea sonrisas which means smile and create smiles i was i was lucky to be one of the only if not the only content creator back then here in arizona who was uh, posting about helping others and pushing helping others which uh, the whole plan was to exchange photo shoots for toys i was just asking for a 30 dollar toy remember i was doing sessions back to back there was families of like 20 people and they will take me one toy there was families of like two people three people they will tell take me like they will donate like six ten toys it was an amazing journey at that point i was you know struggling economically i didn't have all the money in the world but i had the heart and i knew god was gonna bless me in the future that god was gonna see my heart I was able to sponsor a special needs and and Down syndrome um, foundation in Mexico. I remember I was uh, contacted by uh, this foundation in Mexico who worked with 45 different kids and they did like uh what is it called um a therapy with horses and 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 try to help all these families or maybe didn't have the the funds or the uh capabilities to buy these toys or things like that uh and i was able to help those kids i remember i received so many photos of all these kids and each and every one of these kids um sent me a photo and in the back of the photo i had a message for myself as the grandfather for uh their christmas i was um their santa claus for that year and from there i started building connections with other amazing people in mexico basically my first year i collected 125 toys the second year i collected about 300 the third year i collected 800 toys and the fourth year i collected 102,000. i mean 1200 yeah 1200 toys the fourth year amazing people went with me to mexico uh people that saw the vision they wanted to help others they actually came to my house at five in the morning picked up all the toys and we crossed the border i remember the last time that i was going to to mexico to deliver this to these toys uh, i was stopped at the border they didn't allow me to cross with all the toys everybody else was able to cross but i had a truck full of toys uh ready to be donated and all those toys were in exchange for 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 photo shoots um to be able to get that exposure and get you know out there and then people see me as the one guy that was collecting toys to help others took a lot of work i went to radio stations um i went to events i went to networking events and network with people so that i could get the attention and 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 obviously the attention to have donations come so back to where i was at uh, what i was saying uh 
when I was about to cross the border, the officials didn't allow me to cross. They wanted me to pay uh, X amount of dollars to be able to cross and everything. And at that point, I didn't have a lot of money. I was doing everything from my heart um, because I felt it, because I wanted to help with the tools that I had at the moment. Um, and I remember I told the official, I was like, hey man, like I'm doing this because I didn't, I didn't mention this. Every year, I will take a trip to Mexico on Christmas Day. So on the 25th of December, uh, I didn't spend Christmas with my family here. We actually took a trip at five in the morning to drive to Mexico. And um, it was like going to Mexico, getting there by like eight in the morning and start donating different places in my hometown. Um, so it was 20, the December 25th Christmas morning and the official didn't allow, didn't want me to the cross with all these toys. Um, so I was like, man, like, I don't know if you heard, but there was a big foundation from this photographer who came to Rocket Point and a Puerto Peñasco and he was donating toys. And I don't know if you heard. And the official was like, well, I, I don't know. You still need to pay. And then there was, uh, I guess, like another official who was a, a, a little bit higher than him and another uh, like a higher tier, higher level. And then she recognized me because back then, um, for some reason, my donations made it to the newspaper. And she was like, Sonríe, so, she was like, you're Sonríe, crea sonrisas? Sonríe, crea sonrisas, right? Me dice en español. Tú eres de Sonríe, crea sonrisas? Sí, me acuerdo de ti. Go on. She said that she remembered the donation that I made. Uh, and that was a huge blessing. So just to cut the story short, I've been able to bless people. And that's just in my heart because, like I said, I grew up not having everything or the toys that I wanted or the life that I wanted. So I want to continue doing this because I don't want to become robotic. I don't want to become just a, a guy that cares about content, cares about, you know, hanging with this people or going to premieres or getting this and getting that. No, at the end of the day, everybody, all of us have a passion and all of us have a purpose in this world. And I feel like a lot of us miss that. A lot of us forget where we came from and we start caring about money. We start changing and at one point, you know, it's hard to recover all that time. It, 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 time is so valuable, so we cannot let it pass and, and not do anything about our purpose. We got to get to it. Um, I have some plans um, of doing a charity event. And if you are wanting to join me, please send me a message so I can send you the idea. I don't want to just post it out there. I want to be able to connect with ones and people, the, the ones that actually want to help i want to be a part of this journey and help others um i uh want to help you know families like i used to i used to donate toys to uh saint jude i used to donate toys to a children's hospital i used to donate money from the photo shoots that i used to have to families as well and i'm not bragging about it i'm saying because if i did it you'd also can if i did it with my camera, you also can make that effort and probably change people's lives. Uh, I want to take back that plan of helping others. I love helping others, honestly. And um, yeah, I want to re retake, re, uh, how can I explain? Quiero retomar eh, ese ministerio que tengo. I want to regain, I don't know how to explain in English, honestly, like I said, <laughs> I barely know English, um, but I want to start, keep, continue doing it um, and help others. But yeah, guys, I, I, um, I want a team. I need a team that is not just filming with me and it just it isn't just learning from me, but also, you know, uh, doing, making a change in this world. And I know uh, you can help me. I know sometimes we have the desire, but we don't take the first step. But then here we are. I'm calling you out. I want you to be a part of my team and create something amazing. Also, uh, talking besides that, um, I have other plans in mind. I want to create a master class for weddings. Uh, I honestly consider myself one of the best out there to do weddings now because the quality of my cameras. No, no, no. I'm talking because I have the vision and I'm so passionate about it. Uh, I want to be able to teach others that want to, you know, uh, learn how to shoot weddings and, and make more income at some point. I forgot about this. I'm also on a weight loss journey. Uh, you guys have been seeing that I've done this in the past in 2019. I lost a lot of weight back then. I I did 
um, I challenged for about 43 days and lost about 28 pounds or something like that. And I know, I know I can make it happen again. Right now I'm going hard because uh, I feel like I was letting go of myself and I needed a challenge this year. You're just gaining weight. You're going to the gym, yes, but you're not taking care of yourself. So now I just wanted to start a new journey and take care of myself and lose some weight and get in a better shape to, so that I can last longer in this in this world, you know? But yeah, I uh, just wanted to come out here and say all this raw from the bottom of my heart. I want you guys to be part of my journey, um, either weight loss, either, you know, from my foundation, um, either in the red carpet journey and the entertainment journey, creator journey, wedding journey, anything. I just want you to be part of it. And um, I love you guys. Hopefully this video, um, it's interesting for you guys to watch and share probably you know get inspired but yeah guys love you and um see you soon